Hey everyone, Rob here, and it's July 22nd. The eruption site is closed off to the public, and only the official scientists and, and meteorological people can actually go there right now. The police have closed it all off, and as I said in the previous video, this was all a result of people behaving poorly last night, where 60 tourists, according to the news, uh, were almost surrounded by lava because they went up on this hill the lava came on both sides and everyone was worried that they were going to get trapped there and so forth so um the police in talks with the rescue team said uh, enough's enough you don't need access 24 hours a day we're going to surround it but what i thought i would do for this video is take a look at the progression of the lava fields over the last three eruptions now this is from a site which i'm going to post in the description but what I've done is I've compiled all three together because the site doesn't actually do that. So if I'm just going to play this video here that I've put together and you can see as the time goes on how the lava field has spread across. So we can see here down at the bottom is the road. We see all of the different pathways, including the new ones. And if we're looking, there's a timeline at the top from uh, you know March 20th, 2021. And then it goes all the way to the 18th of july of this year so right now we're looking at the first eruption and in a second the second one is going to pop up in the top area over here and let's see it there it is so you can see it coming from that sort of top area and then of course we get into the third eruption that we're seeing today now what i'm looking at here is it kind of seems to trend up towards Kalish, you know, up in this area. So we have the first one here, second one popped up in this sort of top right area. And then of course the third and final one came there. If we take a look at the actual site uh, where I got all this information from, uh, which is the Al active volcanic zone in the Reykjanes Peninsula. And I, again, I'll post a link to this. Uh, you can play around with this. You can see there's the timeline. You can scrub through here. And take a look but you can see on here they they separate all of the eruptions into three parts whereas i've put it all together it's kind of nice to see it all as one but what you can do here as well in addition to seeing the outline timeline we can see height data so if you're worried or taking a look at how the geography is overall uh, but we can also look at the hazard zone so we've talked about this before and we can see this purple outline is the hazard zone or the danger zone is what they've said. And if we zoom in, we can see uh, Kaler is here. We can see height data so that if you're making your way somewhere to the eruption, uh, you can see here this red line is where the fissure is. If you were so inclined to make your way there, you can take a look at the geography of the land in this area. In addition to all of this, we can click on these images and start getting detailed images as we zoom in. You can see the images popping up. Very cool. This site's amazing. Check it out. I thought I would post this now because I was super excited when I saw this and found this. And then of course, uh, we get lava outlines and you know, if we're zooming out, it's a huge mess. Uh, lava outlines from 2121, 2022. And then of course, let's get all of the lava outlines put in and you can see it all together in its magnificence the one thing that we've always talked about was it's getting closer and closer to the road if we take a look at the current one uh, it's pretty far away so i don't think we have too much to worry about right now but it could eventually get there if time goes on the other road is a lot further away and it has a long ways to go so this is it again i'm going to post this link in the description check it out very cool stuff and uh, i'll be sure to update you with any new information that comes out but as of right now, the eruption site is closed to the public. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching.